How's it going guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to continue the road to 100 blue gem locks. Um, in today's video, I'm going to basically focus one of the secret farmables or like the unfarmable block I've been farming for the last couple of months, whatever. Um, and the block, as you already might have, you know, kind of favored, it is Buffalo's. And Buffalo is actually insane. Like one block is like two, three blocks each as right now, like as I mentioned in this video. And normally I see it's like five to six blocks each. And on daily quests, because it is a daily quest item, it rises even more, like seven to eight Rolex each per seed, which is absolutely insane. Um, and I'm gonna showcase the profit later in the video. Like I'm gonna showcase how much seeds I get and different stuff like that. And it's absolutely insane, it's working. Um, so yeah, it's basically what I've been farming the last couple of months. Um, and the reason why it's so nice is, yeah, of course, this is expensive, but you also get Buffalo Leech, which is like, as, as I'm making this video, like around five time bucks each. Um, and you have a chance of getting like between one and two per form. Which is just like insane profit. We, we like combined with the seeds and the leashes, we get insane profits, uh, whatever. Um, and I'll show you all of that in a later video. There is a few items that you need to use while farming, which is first of all, you need all five blue answers. I can't say this enough, but for these and farmer blocks like buffaloes, you need level five ancestral test right of dimension, um, level five. And you also need buddy block yet. And I would recommend getting a higher builder roll before starting and clovers and gill potion. Um, you'll definitely need all of those to farm. I'm using level 6 and max builder, which does increase the profit like compared to like level 5 or like lower build rule, but it's still like profitable and stuff. It'll just be lower, I guess. Yeah, I would recommend getting all the stuff I just mentioned. But yeah, that's much it. Let's get started by buying buffaloes. Now we have the buffaloes, uh, basically the equivalent of like one farm. Now I'm going to transfer all the blocks into my farms. But before I do that, I just going to say one thing. Uh, my friend of mine actually started a guild potion block guild. Uh, her name is Smirky. I left a guild recently, so I can't invite anyone. Uh, I'm not farming anything in particular right now, so I just didn't see a point of paying tax to get a potion. But if you want to join the guild, the, the base is guild tusk. The owner is Smirky, like I said, it's a good friend of mine. So uh, if y'all need a guild potion block, if y'all are farming and need potion, make sure you message him. Um, the tax is 30 rollocks a day or 180 a week. Uh, and the time is, uh, I think it was 12 GT time to 0000, 000, 000 GT time, something like that. Uh, you can read more information in the guild tusk. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, or you can just talk to the Smirky, I guess that's easier. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry I kept you waiting Forever and a day But now we're out here together With nothing standing in our way Can you feel the attraction? Feel the attraction Can you feel it between us? This energy's inside us like electricity Right, so I just got done forming the form, and for the result, whatever, um, for one form, I got 2,878 buffalo seeds, which is, um, I'm guessing it's like 220 seed profit, and one seed is like 5-6 relic each, which means this is basically like 
like 12 plus that much profit pretty much. Um, I talked to some other people that's been farming buffaloes and you should normally get between one and two um, buffaloes, buffalo each per farm. Um, and currently the price of buffalo is like five diamond locks. So, and with the clovers and um, and a few packs, I think I used like four clovers per farm, um, which is like what two diamond locks, and then the fuel packs is like twenty relic maybe. So just underneath twenty diamond locks. Um, but the thing is, I'm gonna sell my seeds when it's daily quest, so the seeds will probably go up like seven day diamond locks. So it's gonna be even more profitable. But if we look at like right now it's gonna be like around 20 dollars profit per farm which is a clean profit um you also get like almost 300,000 gems you get in a crazy amount of gems when you farm the buffaloes maybe like 250k um but if you count that with profit it's definitely gonna be at least 20 dollars profit um so absolutely insane farm bro i'm gonna try to farm this i want to make seven farms um or maybe eight and then do one a day so i think it's gonna be pretty nice um but yeah nevertheless this is pretty much it for today's video thank you so much for joining this video um hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one so peace out